Okay, so I took a first pass at uh, adding some little bit of ventilation to this the light enclosure on this exhaust fan. And then I put three holes on each side here in the sheet metal. I think that's a stiffener. And then I put a series of holes along the top to let the hot air out. So yeah, we'll see how that works. I'll try retesting my bulbs, see what kind of temperature they get to inside. And then the other thing I'm going to do, at least with this bulb, is I'm going to run it and see how hot it gets in an open fixture. Okay, so I got the GX24 LED lamp in here. It started out at 69. I've just turned the power on. So I'll let this run about a half hour and we'll see what kind of temperature we get up to. I also tried setting the light up more like it would be in actual installed position. So I've got the grill open on the bottom here to let air in and then everything sitting as it normally would be. Okay, it looks like this is pretty promising. The light's been on. 35 minutes now and we've only hit 101 Fahrenheit so a little over 30 degree temperature rise and before I put the holes in it was 120 so again that's a pretty promising improvement and let me pull off the top and we'll check the bulb temperature and it looks like we're still staying about the same temperature maybe even a little hotter Along the top there, 76. Maybe I need to open up these holes a little bit, let a little more air in the in over here. Let's go look on the side that I have open here. Yeah, that side's a lot cooler. Look at that. Yeah, maybe that's the trick is open open these up back here. Try to do that and see how that works. Let's check this other side here just as a comparison. Yeah, this one's around 60, and the other side's in the 40s, so... Yeah, maybe that's the trick, is open up this ventilation in the back side here. So I'll try to do that. Okay, I've done a little more uh, ventilating. I added a hole here that feeds in air under the light bulb socket and then I opened up the side and I opened up the top and this lets out a lot of heat that comes off of the base of the bulb because that's where the power supply is. And let's go take a look at the thermometer here and we're running about 99 Fahrenheit and let me check the bulb temperature here. I'll pop the cover off and okay it looks like a few degrees cooler, 74 instead of 76 Celsius here. That looks like it, uh, looks like it definitely helps. And this was on probably 35 minutes. Okay, I've had the light on actually about an hour. Got uh, sidetracked on some things. What I tried this time was I added five 8 millimeter screws over the top of the light bulb so these go in you can see where the metal ends so I tried to pack them in as close as I could and those are definitely warm up there so let's see I'm, I'll pull the cover off and we'll check the light bulb heat sink temperature it's a few degrees cooler it was like 75 now it's just one spot there about 72 so yeah, I think that is pretty decent. Yeah, just one spot, about 72. And the manufacturer said 70. So we're just a bit over that. It's almost that same temperature with the bulb in free air. So it's less than 5 degrees C hotter inside the enclosure. So I don't think that'll be much of a problem and this was an hour running inside so I think that is a wrap on this one I'll uh, 
I'll test the Phillips bulb next. Add the five screws that uh, sit over the top here, and they're pretty close. There's just a maybe an eighth of an inch, couple millimeters clearance to the bulb. The only other option that I have, if I really needed to, was if you look at the bottom side, this is where the light is and you could probably drill out some holes through here into the base of the light to let some air up inside and that would probably really help so, but then you're going to alter the outside appearance because right now you can't tell that there's anything has been done to it 